Welcome to Healthy Mind, Healthy Body. I'm going to lead you into a meditation throughout our time together. I'm going to weave in a self-hypnosis tool called the Love Technique. And I'm going to share with you positive suggestions and ideas so that you don't become that nocebo where you have these negative thoughts, the stress that turn on your body, that zap your energy, that make you tired, that take away that, that ability for that energy to be directed towards what you want, which is to protect your body, to heal, to regenerate, to restore. So let's start off with the self-hypnosis technique. And I tell people to kind of get it going in the beginning by just sighing. <sighs> just a natural thing that is within us, that truly all hypnosis is self-hypnosis, that it's your natural ability to be able to come into this place of centeredness, softness, well-being. And from a place of kind of a reset point, a neutrality, that you can choose that path of feeling good, where we have the clarity, where we have the insights and the wisdom, where we're open and receptive to receive and allow in our solutions and answers. Uh, one of uh, the participants from past Joy Shop shared with me that uh, she wanted to have an, an operation coming up, but that uh, where she was at, she, she needed to get money to be able to have it, and they wanted it up front, and that's not something that she could come up with. So from this beautiful place, using the self-hypnosis technique, and if you're listening in, you know who I'm talking to, that the beautiful deal is that from that place of kind of that reset point, neutrality, the solutions come, the answers. So I'm asking you all today to be willing, willing to be that cooperative component that you don't get to, uh, to change the outside circumstances, but you have power over your thoughts, but you have to exercise it. You have to use your free will to say yes, I'm willing to open up. So a feeling of giving yourself permission to sift through different thoughts and feel at peace about where you're at. That we oftentimes say, well, when everything comes together, then I'll feel relaxed. When I have reassurance that I'm free of cancer, then I'll, I'll let go and feel at peace and start to live my life. Live your life now. Take responsibility for it now that there's always a softer, lighter thought that you can go to. I had a couple of things happen this week that kind of threw a curveball into my life. And I, I, it's like, you know, do what you say, walk the walk. And I let go, let go of the, the fears and the worries and that this isn't fair. It shouldn't have gone this way. I was expecting this. And to redirect and to look at things in a different way so that I felt peaceful, where I had positive expectations. And it is such a game changer because when you go to that place again and again and again of choosing that softer, lighter thought, making it a priority to feel good, it changes the molecular structure, the, the chemicals in your body, that feelings of appreciation, they actually produce these beautiful healing chemicals, that there's just nothing more powerful than this energy of well-being and love. So let's once again get back to the self-hypnosis technique that I call the love technique, or sometimes I call it the love breath, the recentering, the reset breath. Take a nice, comfortable breath, just like you would with a sigh. So we want that feeling of, with the inhale, of just open. And then on the exhale, you just let go, like, like dropping a rock. 
that you just let it fall. And really that's what we want to do with the things that we, we can't control. I'm willing to just let it go, to let go of trying to figure it out, to let go of trying to control things I can't control and to do something that is so powerful, to choose that softer, lighter thought, to look at things from a softer perspective, willing to notice all the things that are going right, to feel the blessings. Take a nice, comfortable breath. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna guide you into this. Um, take it deeper. Take that nice, comfortable breath again. And as you exhale, just go ahead and close your eyes. Feel everything relax and drop. On the exhale, this beautiful feeling of you just let go. I'm willing to let go. Let go of my fears. Take a nice, comfortable breath. I'm willing to let go of my worries. I'm willing to let go of my concerns and just keep doing that. Don't worry if it's in your nose, if you inhale through your nose or your mouth. Just relax. Feel a sense of you, you take it in as deep as you can, but from a very relaxed state. Just letting go. I'm willing to let go. Keep doing that love technique. I'm willing to release the worries, the concerns, the fixation. That when we go to a place of trying to solve a problem from analyzation, from fear and worry and concern, it just doesn't work. The time is to get centered, get peaceful, get relaxed, be willing to be that cooperative component in your life, even though you don't have control over governments or policy or viruses, but you have the power over your thoughts and you have to exercise them. Take a nice, comfortable breath. Because if you don't exercise your free will to choose your thoughts, you're gonna be like the wind. You go with whatever is happening outside of you, that your body is brilliant. Your body is powerful in its ability to heal and to regenerate and to restore. That to me, miracles are for everyone, that everything is possible, but we have to be willing to do our part, to open up, to allow in, to receive, so that even if it doesn't feel fair or right, it is so much better to feel good, even if it doesn't feel like reality. Well, the doctor said that nine out of 10 people in my situation don't get better. So what? You get to decide what you believe. You can choose a softer, lighter thought. We want to feel at peace about where we're at because when, we're not, when we don't, we're having this internal struggle within. So feel at peace about what you've done. You've done the best that you could given your knowledge, wisdom, and abilities. And you know what? You just can't do any better than that. Take a nice, comfortable breath. And as you exhale, just close your eyes and just feel everything letting go and relaxing. Let the sounds of my voice just take you within to this open, receptive, and allowing state open to suggestions and ideas that resonate, that give you a sense of optimism, positive expectations, a feeling of feeling at peace where you're at right now. You don't have to be perfect to have everything work out for you. You don't have to have the perfect beliefs to have thought all the perfect thoughts. It's okay to be a human. This can work for you, a human being, figuring things out, having emotions, that feelings are normal. It's normal to have feelings. They're just our guidance, but they can be a sense of joy and pleasure. The fears and the worries and the concerns can guide us to the soothing thoughts, the positive actions. Take a nice, comfortable breath. and you just let go with the exhale. Let's do that again. 
and just feel everything loosening and relaxing, dropping deeper and deeper and deeper, open and receptive to the soft thoughts, to feel peaceful where you're at. And if you're, you're wondering, am I doing all the right things? Have I done all the right things? Is this the right path or the wrong path? You're having an eternal struggle and it's not going to be good. You want to go to that reset point, that recentering point, that beautiful space where it feels open and light and soft and free. That love is the most powerful energy on the universe. From that place of openness, the solutions come, the answers, the clarity, the understanding. But don't take inventory too soon because just feeling good is such a beautiful gift to trust that with time it'll unfold. The answers will come. It's going to work out for you. Take a nice, comfortable breath. And as you exhale, just feel things dropping, neck loosening and relaxing. Let's imagine this beautiful energy coming from above filled with infinite, unconditional love. Oh, just keep breathing, just giving that permission to let go, to release, to open up, to receive, so that on the exhale, it can be a sense that the body drops and you float up to this place of miracles, of solutions, of answers. Just keep focusing on your breath. Just feel the sound of my voice just take you within to this open, receptive, and allowing state. Just relaxing, willing to let go. Saying yes. Yes, I'm willing to feel peaceful in this now moment, even though I don't know all the answers. I'm willing to let go of trying to control conditions I don't have control over, that I don't have any influence to change, to let go of the uncontrollable and to use your power within. And that's the power of your focus with your thoughts that it is so okay, this can work out for you, even if you've made some really bad choices, even if you've screwed up along the way, made mistakes, lied, cheated, hurt yourself, hurt others, well, welcome to the human race. That it goes beyond a sense of, are you worthy? It's like the universe, infinite intelligence, the divine, the benevolent and loving universe, God, wants you to feel comfortable, wants you to be happy, wants things to work out well for you and your loved ones. And how do you become that cooperative component in your life for yourself and for others to be willing to feel good no matter what? No matter what, whether you have an ongoing chronic illness, you're fearful about the COVID-19, you're fearful for your family and friends, you don't know how things are going to go for you financially, this is the tool for you. It is super powerful. Take another comfortable breath. As you exhale, just feel feel things loosening and relaxing, feel this beautiful, infinite, unconditional love, this energy of softness, nurturing, gentleness, pouring into the body, soaking into your forehead, flooding your brain. It's a sense of the fears are just erased, a feeling of things are just wiped out, like an antivirus, a super antivirus program. And keep breathing. <sighs> Relaxing, letting go, letting go, letting go. Being willing, 
willing to choose the soft thoughts, willing to relax and feel good, willing to feel at peace. Just letting go, just keep breathing. And you just like a cup of water on the exhale, you just let it pour out effortless, easy. The more you relax, the deeper you start to breathe, whether it's through your nose or your mouth. There's beautiful breath tutorials out there. So if you want to train in breath work, but to know, even if you are a shallow breather, this can work. In fact, the more you relax, the deeper your breath is going to start to come. Take a nice, comfortable breath. Each exhale, just dropping deeper and deeper and deeper, willing to feel at peace. Willing to feel at peace about your choices. So often the reason why a drug doesn't work or something is going on that you feel like you're not sure if it was the right choice, like you're going through radiation or, or chemotherapy or you're doing some kind of treatment. I have seen again and again, and this is my belief, that if you line up with it, if you feel at peace about it, it's going to work for you. I've seen again and again where a medication wasn't working. And when the client came to a place where we were able to let go of the fears and the worries and take the client to that place of reset, to be open, to be receptive, to make the choices that feel right to them as they let go of those fears and those worries. I've seen again and again, the medication started to work or their doctor was able to wean them off the medication, or they found they just didn't need it anymore. Now, a little caveat, I'm never ever saying to, to not follow or consult with your, your healthcare practitioner. I'm not trained in the medical realm. I am trained in the power of the mind. Take a nice, comfortable breath. And exhale and just feel everything settle in and relax. I have seen again and again when I just lined up with something that I've decided that the die's already cast. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and feel good about this. This is what I've decided. It's already rolling and in place. There's nothing I can do about it. Or it's just the, the path of least resistance. Then it started to work. Take a nice, comfortable breath. And as you exhale, just feel everything relax and let go. To me, the most powerful thing that trumps everything is the power of your mind. Choosing those thoughts that feel lighter and softer, even just one little softer thought sets things in motion, lines you up for more soft thoughts, can be so super powerful that has ripple effects. So yes, it is so worth it to go to those soft thoughts, even if you only feel just a little bit of movement up the emotional guidance scale. So if you're hanging out in anger and you vent and you feel lighter and freer, good. But don't stop there. Keep looking for softer, lighter thoughts. Take another, com excuse me, take another comfortable breath. And just feel everything letting go. Feel this beautiful light, like a weather pattern coming in where you can actually feel the energy changing, this soft, gentle, nurturing feeling flooding the eyes, flowing through the nasal passages, the ear canals. Keep breathing, relaxing, flowing through the throat. It's like filling up the chest, loosening things, relaxing things, loosening up the back and just feel yourself drop deeper and deeper and deeper. You count the universe, infinite intelligence, the divine God, 
the omnipotent energy that created everything, that sense of you count. The universe wants you to be happy. The divine cares about you intimately. Receive this softness. And how do you receive the softness and the beautiful energy of love? Love feels light and free and comfortable and beautiful. You do it by going to thoughts that feel good. Use this powerful love breath again and again to reset, to recenter, to receive. Just keep breathing. Just relaxing. Feel this energy flowing into the chest. It's like opening up the heart. This energy is steady and constant and always on tap and always available. There for your answers, your solutions, even if it doesn't look like it from reality. Reality is the past. That's old energy. Open up yourself and things change. Expect positive things. You don't have to control the world. You don't have to be able to control the people around you. So what if you have a horrible diagnosis? Do what you can do. Be willing to do what you can do, to be that cooperative component, to let go of what you can't control, to let go of what is, and to choose this lighter, softer path. Just relaxing, relaxing, willing. Instead of fixating on the issue or the concern or the problem, go to appreciation, go to blessings. Notice the things that feel healthy in your body. Just keep breathing, <sighs> releasing. Feel things letting go with each breath. Feel this beautiful opening. It's like you're opening up the doors to the universe, to infinite intelligence and wisdom you count your well-being counts this energy cares about you take a nice comfortable breath and as you exhale just feel the energy raise the body drop dropping deeper and deeper limbs getting super relaxed super heavy just keep Breathing, letting go, things loosening and relaxing, this gentle, tender energy flooding the forehead. You might feel the scalp tingling. You might feel a tingling in your fingertips and your hands and your feet and your toes. You might feel movement. You might even feel little jolts of energy that feel intense or just uncomfortable or mildly uncomfortable. Beautiful. That's the energy moving. That's beautiful. Just relax into it. Relax into that feeling. Healing taking place. Remissions, spontaneous healings. Just feel yourself open. Open to relax. Don't take inventory too soon. Trust in those feelings of lightness, softness, you can trust in the love energy. It feels optimistic, it feels light, it feels comfortable, it feels free. And let's just go deeper and deeper. Keep breathing. Don't worry if you're in sync with me. We wanna be in sync with yourself, with that connection to that infinite, omnipotent, benevolent energy. Love is the most powerful energy on planet Earth, more powerful than medications, vaccines, more powerful than viruses, more powerful than fibromyalgia, diagnoses of cancer. Feel yourself open and receptive to receive. Open and receptive to let go of the fears, the worries, the concerns, and choose those softer thoughts. From that place, 
things are possible. You're open to receive, to allow and support, to allow in help, to ask for help, to ask for support, to receive it, to feel at peace with we don't always know the answers. We don't have those guarantees. But if you're gonna make stuff up about the future, go ahead and imagine, well, what if this does work out for me? Keep breathing. What if things fall into place for the economy? What if that bill does get paid? What if this treatment does work out? What if my body does come back into its healthy state? What if I just feel good in the now moment? What if I just allow myself to feel at peace and to focus in on what feels healthy or comfortable and right in my body and feel this beautiful, joyful energy flooding the forehead, relaxing the eyes, Keep taking those breaths, feel it flood the sinuses, flowing into the ear canals. It is safe to see from a perspective of love. To breathe in from a perspective of openness, receptivity, a willingness to release, to let go, to feel at peace with what is to feel optimistic about the future and good things to come and feel your jaw relaxing and releasing. That feeling good is the path and the way to everything that you want. Keep breathing. Feel the neck loosening and relaxing. It is safe to see things differently, to change your thinking. And when you change your thinking, you start to change your habits, to let go of beating up on yourself mentally, to love yourself, to feel at ease, to feel comfortable, to give yourself permission to feel peaceful with where you're at right now, to let go of those worries and feel that joyful energy flooding into the chest, flooding the lungs, feeling safe, willing to feel safe, willing to tap into this energy of all is well. It's going to work out for you. It's going to be okay. Feel it flood your chest, opening up your heart. So the heart is flooded with this love energy. Feel it flooding the lungs, relaxing the chest. It is safe to feel at peace, to expect positive things. That's the place you want to go to where you feel secure, where you feel safe, where you know your answers are coming, where you feel at ease and comfortable about your loved ones. And you can get here. You can get to that place just by going to the love energy. And from that beautiful place, then suddenly the clarity comes. You have inspiration and in how to support and help others that you become that beacon of light for them. So they can take this beautiful, powerful path too. So that miracles are for everyone. And just allow the sound of my voice to just take you deeper and deeper and deeper. All the outside noises guiding you within to this open, receptive, and beautiful space. Just relaxing, letting go, letting go letting go, dropping deeper and deeper and deeper. Feel this beautiful energy flooding the neck, flowing into every single organ in the body, sending it the messages of health and well-being. And if you're missing an organ, feel it's like your spiritual organ, the spiritual thyroid, the, the whatever part maybe that you're missing, feel it flooded with this energy of well-being and love. The thyroid, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, the heart, the stomach, the colon, the bladder, 
It's like all the different parts just flooded with this energy of love, wholeness, softness, well-being. Just keep breathing, letting go, releasing, feeling that sense of I'm willing. Yes, I want to feel at peace with where I'm at. I want life to work out for me. I'm willing to let go of fighting against what is. I'm willing to let go of trying to control my neighbors or my friends or viruses I have no control over that the body is brilliant. The body is capable, that the body was trained to take care of you. It's like every time it's met up with a bacteria or a virus, that it's work to restore your body, to rejuvenate, to regenerate, that it's, you're here right now. There's been good things going on to focus on what is working, what is going well in your life, to give yourself permission to feel the blessings. If you feel any kind of uncomfortableness coming up in the body, good, relax into it. Don't judge it. Don't try to analyze it. Just let go, let in the love, focus on a different part of the body. And that automatically brings more softness. So that intense energy that came can just flow through because that's the healing. That's the regeneration, the rejuvenation, the support. Relaxing, relaxing, dropping deeper and deeper and deeper. Relaxing, letting go, letting go, letting go. Feel that beautiful energy, just bringing this softness, this gentleness, this healing energy. You might feel colors, light, movement, flow, energy, buzzing. That's things changing. Open a receptive to spontaneous healings, to things falling into alignment, coming back into its healthy, natural state. But don't take inventory too soon. Feel appreciative for the softness, feel a sense of positive expectation, good things yet to come. Maybe the clarity comes to you, an insight, a wisdom. Just feel it, accept it, rejoice in it, allow it, dropping deeper and deeper and deeper. Feel this energy flowing through the limbs, this beautiful, joyful, healthy energy flowing through the bloodstream relaxing, relaxing, letting go, saying, yes, I am willing, I'm willing, even if I feel something is wrong, to take a softer path, a lighter path, to let go of judging myself and judging others, to let go of trying to figure out the world or, or figure out the universe from a place of fear and anxiety analyzation and, and trying to figure things out is perfect when we're in clarity, when we're in that reset point of openness and receptivity and allowing, when we're in that energy of love. Take a nice, comfortable breath. Just, in fact, just keep breathing, taking those breaths. There's so many beautiful things happening to your body right now that you're changing the molecular structure of your body, but you're more open and receptive to allow, to receive, that miracles are for everybody, but we have to be open. And we do that with our thoughts. And with those softer thoughts come that softer, open, gentle body. Feel yourself just letting go, letting go. Take another comfortable breath and just keep breathing. If uncomfortableness comes up, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong. In fact, that's a good sign that you're letting in the energy. And it's just kind of butting up against that stuck or fearful or constricted part. Just relax into it. Focus elsewhere. You feel an uncomfortableness on the right side somewhere. Focus on the left side that feels open. 
focus on the flow or the tingliness in fingers or, or toes. In other words, let it go. You don't have to force anything. You don't need, to, this isn't your time to figure things out. You don't want to figure things out when you're in stress or anxiety or focused on uncomfortableness. You want to go to the lightness, the reset point, the centered place of open, receptive, allowing. Just keep taking those breaths, relaxing. Relaxing. Molecular structure is changing. The chemistry in your body is changing. Feel yourself willing, unwilling to see things differently. Feel at peace with whatever you achieve during this time. Whether it's, oh my gosh, I went to a softer place. I could feel it at different moments, at different times. Yes, you're on the right track. Tap into those moments during our time together when you felt things opening up and changing. That is beautiful. Focus on the softness. Focus on the comfortable parts in your life. Focus on the things that are working. That's the place that we're guided to the inspired choices, the inspired actions where we suddenly find ourselves able to access these thoughts that weren't available before. Brilliant thoughts, thoughts of higher perspectives, higher perspectives of insight and wisdom and clarity. Take another comfortable breath. Just keep breathing. <sighs> letting go, letting go. Do this breath again and again throughout your day. Letting go, letting go. I have turned around illnesses. I have had spontaneous remissions with conditions that felt so debilitating. But when I went to this beautiful space, that it just went away. I've seen clients walk in with the flu and walk out free of symptoms. A client that had glasses for driving and walked out from a session no longer having to wear the glasses for driving. Open and receptive. Miracles are for everyone. But don't take inventory too soon. Because when you do, then you set yourself up for trouble. Like, oh my gosh, I haven't achieved everything that I wanted. I haven't had that instant healing. I don't have proof from a doctor. When you feel the love, don't you feel this feels right? This feels right when you go to a softer, lighter thought. That's your guidance saying yes, because it feels right. You can tell you're on the right path, that this guidance is within you. All right, coming back into this time and place. Um, our time together is almost up. Uh, at the end of the recording, uh, if you want to stay after and chat, I'll turn on your video and unmute you that I'm really excited uh, for our next healthy mind healthy body joy shop coming up next week we've got two more on Thursday and Saturday and uh, we're going to build from everything from the first two if you didn't if you weren't present and you're listening to this as a replay then um, the replay will be available through my newsletter and I'll post it on my Facebook site so you can find it there. And then my YouTube channel, Svenson Hypnosis. And eventually I'll also uh, put it on my website, svensonhypnosis.com. If you need more help, seek me out. Go deeper. Uh, sign up for a 90-minute session. Amazing things can happen in that short time. If you want to go even deeper, I have Mastery of Joy packages. And there's just so many testimonials that taking this path of love, following the joy is life changing so that life feels light and effortless and easy because we're the ones that struggle against ourselves. So I hope this has blessed you. 
Um, there's even more beautiful tutorials that you can go to for free on my uh, Svensson Hypnosis YouTube channel. So um, until next time, blessings.